Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Let's Play Diablo with Retro Phoenix 80. In this episode we continue from where we left off. Uh, maybe I needed to check my inventory. <laughs> um, any town portals do I have? Okay. Well nuts. I need to go and sell some things. Uh, that means we're going to be sacrificing yet another town portal and going and selling a few things before we go any further. But we are continuing on our quest for Ogden's sign. And I did manage to find that little shit wart. He's up on the north end of the I map. I sense a soul in search of answers. God. Yes, I've actually downloaded a new version of this game so I can actually see what I'm doing instead of having to fight. instead of having to fight the screen. Okay, I need another scroll of town portal. Yes. I sense a soul in search of answers. Yes. Okay, leave and head back to Griswold. do for you okay now I should have an empty inventory minus this aisle over here that's actually gonna come in handy later actually it'll come in handy right now All right. Okay. Why am I on level three? I thought I was on level four. Okay. Maybe not. Most of this is probably just going to be searching and searching and more searching. I'm probably going to edit most of this out, but you won't miss any of the actual action. So don't worry. There's the entrance to level 4 right there. So I think I had already gone through all of this in the last episode, but just in case I missed any pieces and parts, we'll uh, keep going. Oh, looks like I got everything over here, now it's time to go in the upper part. I think that Ogdenstein will be either on level 4 or level 5. So, what I'm going through doing right now is just grinding for levels. Uh. 
grinding for levels and gold, of course. If you haven't figured it out by now, this is a very dark game. And by dark, I mean almost on the demented side. Making sure I didn't miss anything. That door won't close because it's blocked. could always come in handy and that could always come in handy especially down here uh, I guess I could have repaired <sighs> while I was out in the town down to the level four. What did I see? There's something down here that was triggering my... Oh well. I guess it wasn't that important. attention to my health. I can't carry any more. Well. actually not going to help us. Um, ba -ba -ma -ma -ma. Oh. Looks like we're going back into town, ladies and gentlemen. I'll make sure to skip this part for you.
Stay for a moment. I have a story you might find interesting. A caravan that was bound for the Eastern Kingdoms passed through here some time ago. It was supposedly carrying a piece of the heavens that had fallen to Earth. The caravan was ambushed by cloaked riders just north of here along the roadway. I searched the wreckage for this sky rock, but it was nowhere to be found. If you should find it, I believe that I can fashion something useful from it. Well, interesting development. Uh, let's see here. The magic rock. Oh, focus. <laughs> well, what can I do for you? I don't remember picking up a dagger, but let's go and identify it real Hello, quick. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Okay. Well, what can I do for you? Townspeople can actually give you clues. As far as the missions that you're on, find hammer. I don't have enough gold for it. Okay. Um, all right. Now we're gonna go look, see if I can find the thing that uh, Dingy was talking about. Good thing. And that was trapped. Each level, everything gets a little harder. Can apply, obviously. little buggers won't stop running away. Oh. Pretty much just a game of exploration from here, so trying to find Ooh, what's this? It's like, if you guys start playing this game, uh, just be sure that you're not trying to follow this as a quote-unquote walkthrough. 
uh, all of the levels are randomly generated with each game. So no two games are going to be alike. That is a good thing, I guess, just for content or for playability purposes. Uh, replayability, I'm sorry. Uh, so, yeah. We just gotta sit here and explore and don't die. Oh, yeah. Save often. never know when you're not going to be quick enough on the draw or take heed and bear witness to the truths that lie herein for they are the last legacy of the Haradrim there is a war that rages on even now beyond the fields that we know between the utopian kingdoms of the high heavens and the chaotic pits of the burning hells this war is known as the great conflict and it has raged and burned longer than any of the stars in the sky. Neither side ever gains sway for long, as the forces of light and darkness constantly vie for control over all creation. Hmm. That I was not expecting. However, nice to know. We'll stay in this area. Really hate the skeletal archers, but it's something you're gonna have to get used to. The they make for a very difficult time. Oh, these. They like to charge at you from a long distance. Well, those imps, the goblins, they just like to run away at all times, so that's just a constant thing no matter what level you're at. that I did not save after getting that level up. Okay. 
continue saving. that healing potions are quite few and far between. survived <clears throat> uh, once again save <laughs> game. Guess I need to start working on my vitality. Get my hit points up. fuckers down. <laughs> I... if I found the entrance to level 5 yet or not. Um, each 
set of levels is actually broken up into three sections. I don't know if I explained that before or not. But, um, that's why level four looks so much different than the first two, or first three. The walls are different and the floor is different color. That's what sets it apart from the rest of the, the other three levels. I think he's talking about the sign. Go to hell. Sure, where that goblin? Oh, he's ugly. There's the sign. You see that, don't you? There's the exit to level 5 right there, but there's no way to get there from here. I wonder. Okay. Uh, let's go give Ogden his sign back. And restock up on some supplies. And sell a few things. Oh, we didn't have to bring back my sign, but I suppose that it does save me the expense of having another one made. Well, let me see. What could I give you as a fee for finding it? Hmm, what have we here? Oh, yes. This cap was left in one of the rooms by a magician who stayed here some time ago. Perhaps it may be of some value to you. A magician? It depends on what it is. Armor is a negative three. So it would absolutely do me. Hello, no good. my friend. Stay a while and listen. Okay. So it says you need item. Ah. Minus three to armor class. Negative one damage from enemies plus two to all attributes hit points and mana that would be for a magician That wouldn't be her though. Well, what can I do for you? That would be for a spell wielder And the money is That's not the money is more important. It's
just not something that what a warrior is you, my would friend? use. Now one last thing to sell, and then we'll head back down into the ruins. Or the catacombs, whatever they're called. Battle that one little imp. And hopefully make it through to the next level. I sense a soul in search of answers. Never know. We're getting to the point now where we're getting enough gold that we're going to have to start dropping some on the floor. Because you're only allowed to get 5,000 per stack. Alright. Let's finish this. to get our asses handed to us, but I don't think that's going to happen. And these guys don't like to stick around in one spot for too long. smell of death surrounds me. Save the game. And that will be all for this episode of Diablo, ladies and gentlemen. If you liked it, hit that like button. Subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for more videos. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next video. Later. <laughs>